good morning. Here you are. It's another wonderful morning. It's Tuesday morning. It's such a beautiful day to be here and waiting for everybody to see, you know, the day has done and it's going to be a wonderful day. Everything is magnificent that's happening to us. Nothing is going to be out of the ordinary. Hi, Susie. Good morning. So today is a wonderful day. I hope you greeted yourself, especially you, Queen Susie. Say good morning, Queen, and bow just, you know, just like you're supposed to get. So this morning, mine was, hello, here you are. Good morning, precious. So what, this depends on what you feel. So today, Susie is telling me, what. let me see what you greeted yourself with morning. Grand Rising Queen. I love that. Oh my God. I felt that in my stomach, Susie. That was good. I, oh, I have to use that. Good morning, Grand Rising Queen. Oh, isn't that delicious when you can say that? So here you are, my dear. So today, you have a mantra that is going to just roll in with you. So today's mantra, I choose to be happy. I choose to be happy with grace. Can you believe that? And then... When you choose to be happy and you put grace on top of it, that just makes it good morning, Yoko. How are you this morning? Happy Tuesday. So our, our mantra today is, I choose to be happy with grace. Happiness is something that is wonderful and you have to bring the grace with it. Grace is elegance and beauty. And it is, it is something that just flows from you. Good morning, um, Donato. How are you? So... I choose to be happy with grace. And that is important. Your happiness has to be with grace. And when you rise, like, Su like Susie's um, greeting to self this morning, she said, good morning, rising queen. Can you believe that? Can you believe if every morning, the first thing you heard as you're rising is good morning, rising queen, or good mo morning, rising king. Good morning, rising wonderful person. Good morning, Debbie. And good morning, Uzan. So when you get up in the morning and you hear this, good morning, rising king. Who can take that away from you? Good morning, rising queen. Who can take that away from you? You always must have a mantra to match your day. Your mantra has to match your day. Your mantra has to be amazing. You cannot have a mantra that is not you. And grace, when you are happy with grace and when you say the greeting to yourself, can you imagine how that feels? So today, I want to tell you about the, the elegance of grace. Grace is something that comes from inside of you. Grace is not something you can purchase. Grace is something you have to deliver. You have to go find it. And it's not outside of you. It's within you. Grace is magnificent. When Have you ever seen a vessel, a sailboat, riding the waves? And it's so graceful as it goes up and down with the waves. That's grace. That is what grace is. So grace doesn't mean you have to walk and you're pious like that all the time. That is one type of grace. We reserve that grace for others that want to do that. Maybe Mother Teresa. Those have that type of grace. But some of us, we, we have a grace that is different. And each of us, our grace is different. Our grace does not have to shout. Our grace does not have to flap its wings like a bird that is being chased by something else. Our grace has to come from within us. Every day we have a choice. How are we going to take grace? Grace doesn't take away your masculinity. Grace certainly does not take away your femininity. You can have grace in your speech. You can have grace in, grace in your thoughts. You can have grace in your movement like the vessel on the water. You can have grace when a dolphin comes up and rises and goes back down again. You can have, have you ever seen a school of flying fish? How wonderful they are and beautiful and how graceful they are in unison. They have no leader, yet they can fly. They can fly out of the water and down again with such continuity. That's grace. Grace gives you the ability to, sport, to, to stand and, and just take it in. Grace lets you know today is not the day to battle. Grace lets you know sometimes what you see or what is told to you is a time to smile. Sometimes it's not what it is that is causing you to smile, but the grace within you is getting you to look at it from a different way. Somebody might insult you. Somebody might say something nice to you. 
And then you have to look at it and say, which one? How am I going to handle that? So the person that says something lovely to you, you have to take that grace that you have inside of you, that wonderful, amazing grace, and say, thank you so much. I am happy you, you like it. I am grace, I'm grateful for your, for your words. Your words humble me. Your words make me feel at least I'm going in the right path. That's what you say. So when somebody greets you with grace, you give it back to them. There's people that will find, think that their responsibility on God's earth is to judge you and to tell you things that is not good for you. And day two, day two, you have to greet with grace. And you sometimes have to say, oh, I am so happy to see that you took the time to tell this to me. And that is not what they're expecting. This is not what they're expecting. Like when you do, you have something on Instagram or Facebook or on YouTube and somebody criticizes that one part, part they don't like, what do you do? Do you fight with them? No, you're not. If you feel you must respond, because sometimes by responding, you give them a muzzle. My mother used to say to me, pay the man, give him a muzzle and shut him up. So that is when, because when somebody, a muzzle, we used to have to put muzzles on the guard dogs at home because, you know, the dogs were let loose at night on the plantation. So you had to have guard dogs. But during the day, they were muzzled so that they wouldn't bite people coming in and out. And my mom used to say, when somebody is at you like that, find something to say or do that will give them a muzzle and shut them up. So the person that is criticizing you on Facebook, on Instagram, or whatever they're saying to you about what you're doing, you have to give them a muzzle with grace. A muzzle with grace is not fighting with them. It's not stomping. That's what they want. You never feed the critic what it wants. You feed the critic with grace. So you turn around to the person and you say, oh, I, I'm so happy. I appreciate you taking the time to point this out to me. Thank you. You think that's what they wanted? No, they didn't want to hear that. What are they going to do with that now? You just took water and you poured on the fire. You just took dry ash and you stifled the flame. So they cannot come back. There's no coming back. So it's not every day you have to fight. It's not every word that has to be just as pungent as the words they give you. It's not. Their, their words are sour. You cannot come and put more sour on it. It, it. it doesn't work. Sometimes you have to smile and you have to say, surely you jest. And that person might say, you know what? They might not even understand those two words going together. But sometimes you have to dig inside of you and find the grace that is in you that they don't know. They don't know that when you woke up this morning, you were called a rising king. They don't know that you refer to yourself as a rising queen. They know nothing about you. Absolutely nothing. They don't know that you were covered already. So their nastiness does not even touch you. They have no idea what that is. You will never, ever, ever not have critics that will come to take your grace away. There is always going to be one of them that today is the day to take your grace away. I, I know for sure there's people that used to wake up in the morning and they, today is the day to go to the bank and make our life miserable. And we used to just say, I guess that is it. But eventually they'll go. So when somebody is criticizing your action or your choices that you've made, and those choices you've made, you know you made them because that is what felt good for you at the time. And they come from nowhere. And they don't know that you're a rising king, that you're a rising queen today. And when you showed up, and they decide they're going to take you down. You must understand they have a purpose. That is the purpose they have chosen for themselves. So you cannot top it up with saying something nasty to them. Always say thank you. Because that throws them away. I don't like what you're doing. I don't like what you're wearing. I don't like what you should do. I don't like what you said. I didn't enjoy it. You know, it's okay. Well, I'm so glad you have. You took the time. And, the, you know, and you spend that time to express to me how you felt. I really appreciate your opinion on this. Whether you mean it or not, because you have to stifle the flame. You cannot be like them because you're not of them. You don't come from the same cloth as them. You're not cut from the same cloth. And that is what it means. So why react the same way? 
Raise yourself. Show them that you are king. King don't look back at, at, at minions. The king steps up. And the king sometimes has to swallow. And the queen sometimes has to just move. Show grace. Your grace is in you. It will come out in your words. It will come out in your actions. It will come out in your smiles. It will come out with your, you know, it will just come out. It will come out when you enter a spot. It will come out when you're walking on the street. You have to hold on to it because there are going to be many who have decided if you are not worthy to have it. Let me tell you something. It's not that they don't know you are special. It's not, not that they don't know you are unique. It's not that, that they don't know that you are this amazing, wonderful human being that was created specifically to be who you are. They know that. And that is what they cannot stand. They are so busy looking at you that they forget to see what the grace they have within them. And you can only be an example. It's no point. You take words and use to help these people. You cannot do that. You just have to show them. Telling them is not going to be the answer. You have to show them. How do you show them? Give them back a lovely dish of thank you. I appreciate your opinion. And they will, they, they will want to continue the conversation. Because, oh yeah, now that you told that to them, they're so into themselves, they can't realize they just got, what did, what did kids call it, disc or something? So, or shade, I don't know. But one of those things. So this is what you have to remember. You are special. And because your light is shining so bright, you have a goal, you have a purpose, you have decided not to be ordinary. You are not ordinary when you're speaking on Facebook, Instagram, when you press a button and come here this morning, you are not doing the ordinary. You're doing something special. You have decided I am worthy to go out there and step and say, this is what I know. I want to learn more. So I'm going to hear what Tessa Marie is saying today, what Susie, what today, and what somebody else is saying today on the live. I want to know more. I want to know something so I can use it, so I can help myself. And maybe in the process of helping me, I can help somebody else. They are not there for that. So use your grace to diffuse this negative energy. Don't give negative energy any fuel. Don't pour gasoline on the fire. Don't get enraged. Use grace. And say it's okay i don't like it i know you don't but it's all right isn't it that's you have to be able to say that when people come at me with things like that that is the first thing i say i, say, I understand you i know where you're coming from and i'm so happy my mom used to say you have to consider where the critics are coming from because she said if you look at your foot you can see where they're coming from you are ahead you are the toes the toe is ahead of the heel and the heel will never be on the same and the same line as your toes. So she said, consider them the hill. And they're trying their best to catch up with you. And they, will, they don't even know they can't. So the toe is already ahead of the hill. And the hill will run, but it won't catch up. You remember that. Don't be angry. Continue on your journey. And that is what you have to do. Whatever your journey is. And go back. And when you get to the point where you have some time to sit in silence and consider your decision and your situation, look for a glance where you started, how you started, and look at where you are. And remember, the past is only going to propel you to the future. Don't bring it into the future, but recognize it as where the journey started and where you plan to go. And do all of that with grace. Do not compare yourself to anybody else because there's always going to be greater and lesser people than you. So it's no point. So when somebody is doing that, or if you, you, you find yourself doing that, stop it. It's keeping you back. You're minding somebody else's business instead of minding your own. You're not responsible for them. You're not responsible for anybody but yourself. You might be responsible to raise your children and guide them and bring them to where you would want them to be and hope and pray that what you've instilled in them will rise like cream and come to the top. And they'll be the people that you prayed and hope and nurtured them to be. But you still cannot control them. So the thing about it is that don't try to control people. Don't try you to, to mimic them when they're doing this thing. Look for a new way. Look for a new thing. And it's all in here. It doesn't go away. The grace of you is in you. The choices you make is in your heart. 
The decision you make comes from your heart to your mind to your tongue to your eyes to your actions to your words. Choose right. Choose what will make you feel better. So every morning when you get up, remember when when, when Susie came on this morning, and I asked her, "How did you greet yourself today?" And she said she was she greeted herself, "Rising Queen." <laughs> when she said that, I said, "Susie, I'm going to use it," and and then I had grace. And elegance as my topic for today for your morning blessing because there's nothing as beautiful as a graceful human being even a man fighting in war if you look at a man with a sword or a spear there's so much grace and intensity and they don't talk loud and they don't scream they just do what they're supposed to do and if we look we can learn from these things we can learn from that so don't let the darkness of somebody else shade your light remember you can just walk out of the darkness into the light and keep going and leave them wondering and looking at the back of you say i thought i was going to get to her i was thought i was going to put him down i thought i was going to make them feel less than they were and i didn't succeed and hope and pray there is someone somewhere that will teach them the lesson that they need to learn because this is not the time to teach them. This is the time to let them be the person that they chose to be. This morning when they woke up, they didn't choose rising king or rising queen. Or they didn't do what I did and say, hello, here you are. You are charming. They didn't do that. So don't expect them to do what, you, what you're doing for yourself. Just continue to be the example. Continue to feel yourself. Continue to keep your cup. Organize, give a little, take a little. Because one of these days they're going to say it to you. They'll say, I had no idea you were going to be this successful. Oh, but then another one will say, I always knew you were. And all you have to say, thank you for all your confidence in me. So I hope the message resonates with one of you today because it does not always come for everybody. But part of it might be for you. So if you got a nugget, golden nugget take it it's yours put it and hide it away and use it wisely if you happen to get a rare black pearl well there you go can you imagine what you can do with it and of course if you get a rare pink canadian diamond you are just going and most people tell me they get diamonds every day when they come to the morning blessing so have an absolutely wonderful morning and let me see what you guys thought of it and if you want you can still tell me what you thought of it so I'm going to go back to Miss Susie. She was there so early this morning, and she said, Grand Rising Queen. It wasn't only a rising queen. It was a grand rising queen. Who can take that from you? Nobody can take that from you. Yoko, good morning, Grand Rising Queens. That's all I have. Oh, my goodness. Yes, delicious. That, it is. That when I heard it, the word sounded so delicious. And hi, Donato. Good morning, Yoko. Good morning, Debbie. Hi, Luden. And good morning, Donna. I said, great, great morning, Yoko. Susie and Tessa, my blessings to you all. Thanks, Donato. Debbie, everybody flying fish in the Caribbean. Amazing. You have to see them when they fly in the water. Donato, the grace of God each day is a blessing. It is. Thankful and gratitude. Grateful, grateful for today is a, is a gift. Hi, Rosita. Good morning. I forgot to call you last night. Good morning. <laughs> Hi, Corinne. How are you? I hope you had a Donato. How are you guys this morning, everybody? Hi, Colleen. Thanks for joining me this morning. Have a wonderful morning. Um, that's great. Perspective Tessa. They had a purpose that day to try to take your grace. Excellent. Thank you for that. That is really nice. Coaching with Susie. Thanks, Susie. That's what Susie said. That's a great perspective. <laughs> so they had a purpose that day to try to and take your grace. Excellent. Thank you. Hi, Rosita. They got served as, or as the kids say, this. I don't know what it was. I might have said it all wrong. <laughs> My kids are a pain in the, in the touch. Oh, is that what they are? <laughs> I didn't know that. <laughs> Grand Rising Queen. Thank you for this message. God bless. Have a super incredible day. Thank you, Donato. 
Coach Miss Susie definitely resonated with me today. Thank you, as always, Mama Tessa. I enjoyed your wisdom, and I take nuggets from you as well. Thank you, Susie. I get some from you each, each time. I, you know that. I'm glad that you felt, yes, get that in your spirit. Yeah, we have to. So, guys, thank you for coming in this morning. And remember, you are a grand rising queen. Oh, that is just, that is really good. It really touched me. Because that is what I think each and every one of you, and we had two rising kings this morning. We had Uden and we had Abdonato. So we are okay. We are well surrounded. Happy for you guys all. And it's Tuesday. And enjoy the day. And we'll go through the day with grace. And remember, just remember, that when the target is on you, you have to shift. And you cannot shift towards the target. You have to go away from the target. And that is what you have to remember. Give them a muzzle. A muzzle doesn't have to be a harsh thing. A muzzle can be a kind word like, yes, thank you. You took all that time to tell me all of this, man. You were thinking of this. I appreciate you thinking of me for all that time. And that is what you have to do. And if they're bold enough to say it, then you have to be bold enough to diffuse it. But don't fight it. Don't go stomping on their heads. They're not even worth it. Give them a muzzle of grace and shut them up. So sending you light and joy on this magnificent Tuesday morning. It's a pleasure having all of you here today. Take care and have an absolutely wonderful day. Bye, guys.